Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. There was a small earthquake, an intensity level up to a magnitude 2.5, 12 kilometers west northwest of Athalia, Ohio. So that would be about 7.6 miles west northwest. Using Google Earth, here is the location of that earthquake. I noticed there was a pond here and a pond over here. And being raised there in Ohio, there was never earthquakes there when I was little. But surprisingly, you have an earthquake, a moderate to large earthquake, about every 10 years. And the last earthquake was in 2018. I marked out all the different earthquakes. Looks like the largest was a magnitude 5.0. And this goes back to um, 1776, I believe. On the Ohio Geological website, uh, they have a magnitude 4.5 in 1776, 1779 a 2.9. And there was a 4.1 in 1857. And I marked them all out on Google Earth, a 4.7 in 1875. That was in the township of Shelby. That's where my grandfather's ashes were distributed, I believe. More recently, there's been an earthquake swarm of sorts in Harrison County. Uh, I marked out going back to uh, 2020. Using Google Earth, here's the location where all those earthquakes occurred. Now, those were in 2020. And what I noticed is most of these earthquakes are along the uh, rift zone that were over a magnitude 4.0 going down to the New Madrid fault zone or along this other seismic active area, which is part of the Southern Appalachian Seismic Zone. You can see how we got mountain building here. And then up north along Lake Erie, now that would have been caused by the movement of the St. Lawrence Rift System. In one of my videos, um, earthquake they had up there by uh, Montreal. There is an impact crater that was not discovered until 1985. And this um, meteor asteroid, probably a stony asteroid, impacted here, which scientists believe reactivated the sort of St. Lawrence Rift Zone. Yeah, it reactivated this fault, which more likely curves down and around. You can see the yellow lines here, all the way down to the New Madrid Fault Zone. So, marking out all the recent earthquakes, like I said, um, the Appalachian Seismic Zone and the failed rift system, which has been reactivated. Those are the two areas where most of the earthquakes occur at there in Ohio. So seeing how 2018 was the last time there was a moderate size earthquake and they seem to be occurring about every 10 years. I think you're probably good for another five years there in Ohio. The 5.0 was in 1986. Not to say there hasn't been anything larger there in Ohio because, you know, back in the 1800s and 1700s, they didn't have a way to measure earthquakes and they just went by what people might have wrote to each other in the past. Maybe digging down into old fault zones such as the Greenville Fault, which goes through here. Oh, I was wrong. The largest earthquake was in 1937, a 5.4. That was in Shelby County. You can do a Google search on that earthquake that occurred in 1937. On this web page, it says it occurred near Anna, Ohio, March 9th at 5.44. So that would have been 11.44 uh, Central Daylight Time. And they have an intensity level of 7 and 8. According to this other page, that would have meant, let's see, 7, 8 to 12 seconds of shaking. And 
Level 8 would have been 20 to 30 seconds of shaking. And for those of you that follow me, you know that for every second of shaking, the ground moves back and forth 6 feet. Yeah, after 20 to 30 seconds of shaking every second back and forth 6 feet, you probably wonder um, if it's ever going to stop. That earthquake was felt as far as Indiana, Illinois, Kentucky, Michigan, Missouri, West Virginia, Pennsylvania, and Southern Canada. So that would be the largest earthquake ever recorded there in Ohio in recent times. So did you feel this earthquake? Only one person reported it to USGS. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Please put your comments down below. Please stay safe, and I will talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.